there is no way that I am the only veteran that thinks the way that I'm thinking right now. <clears throat> the situation going on in Afghanistan right now is, uh, I mean, it's just, it's heartbreaking to me to see the videos of those people that are trying to flee their country to run, you know, they're trying to run away from their country and they, uh, they're jumping on the airplanes. They're trying to ride the airplanes 40,000 feet. I mean, it's You got people falling. Like, it's crazy. If you haven't seen the videos, it's, I mean, I don't suggest that you go watch them because that's not something that everybody should just see. I mean, that's, it's crazy. So I'm torn about this. Um, now, uh, just a, a super, super quick I'll, uh, backstory. I was in the Army for 12 years. Uh, I did not go to Afghanistan. I fought in Iraq, though. Uh, I was 13 Fox, Airborne, Air Assault, all that other cool stuff. And I lost friends in the war, both sides, both in Afghanistan and Iraq, um, which that's what makes this really really tough you know if you're a veteran watching this right now i'm sure you have too and that's the main reason that i wanted to make this video is um your boys that gave the ultimate sacrifice um it wasn't for nothing if you feel some kind of way about that please reach out to somebody uh talk to somebody don't don't bottle it up don't hold it in it's you, you know you know that's bad you know that just leads just to nothing good Call somebody, you, you call one of your boys from back in the day. Talk to them. Make sure you go check on one of them. Make sure they're doing good, you know? Um, to all my friends that are still in, uh, without name, obviously without naming names, units, or anything like that, if you're one of the ones, we'll just put it like this. Um, I've seen a lot of civilian or people with no uh, military background, you know, talking about how the, they shouldn't be, you know, sending tr troops over there and, and all this stuff. Uh, I promise they're not, the boys ain't scared and they're not, they're, they're, that's, this is what they want. This is what, this is what the United States, the people in the United States military, this is what they want. At least everybody that I've talked to that's, uh, still in, um, Anyways, I'm getting off topic. I feel some kind of way about this, right? So I watched Rob's video last night, and I was thinking to myself, you know, he's right. He's 100% right. We just kind of left him hanging high and dry. Uh, there were Americans that were left over there. Uh, there was apparently an email sent out or a, a mass message of some sort that said, uh, get to point XYZ or whatever, uh, for extraction, but we're not gonna provide like we're not gonna provide you coverage to get there. So you're kind of just on your own uh, as the Taliban completely take over. Pretty sure the um, I read the Afghanistan president even just dipped out. Like, so I've always been a believer in America first, right? Um, that's my home country. If you go talk to an Australian, they're gonna say you know, Australia first, obviously, as they should, because that's their country, right? Uh, same way, you know, Germany, um, Singapore, uh, New Zealand, all these other armies that, like, I've uh, done all kinds of stuff with throughout the 12 years that I was served. Like, they, I mean, they put their country first, as they should. Now, all these videos of these military-age males just straight dipping, uh, to the airfield, they're trying to get on the planes. They're, uh, I think one of the C-17s had like 800 people on it, which is astronomical. It just blows my mind. But they're trying to flee, and they're not trying to fight for their own country. But they want us to do it. They want America to do it. Now that's what kind of had me. That's what kind of had me pissed at first, because in a sense, that's a that's a war with no end in sight, as it really has been for the past 20 years. It's there's just no end in sight. Uh, people over there just it's just the different it's different it's just so much different they've been fighting for thousands of years 
and it's almost to the sense of like you can't help somebody that doesn't want to be helped but it's not that they don't want to be helped uh they just they can't help themselves and um i haven't honestly ever since i got out i'm not gonna lie to you guys i really haven't kept up with much uh with the military because i've been super busy just doing youtube things and family stuff and just living life but this past week hit me hard man it hit me hard uh like i said i didn't fight in afghanistan i did fight in iraq though and it uh i lost a good friend over there i lost some friends when i got back because they couldn't deal with the things they saw and the things they did and all this other stuff that if you never served you just i can't make you understand it um and i'm not gonna sit here and try to uh, i'm not also you know i would never throw shots at somebody that didn't serve um that's your choice as an american if you want to serve serve if you don't don't but i can say this being in the army was one of the best decisions that i ever made especially for as long as i was in the army it facilitated the ability for me to just grow into the person that i am today had it not been for the army i would not be who i am today i would not have the mentality that i have i just wouldn't be the same person i guess what i'm trying to get at is uh i can't be the only one that feels this way i can't be there's no way that i'm the only veteran that feels this way about you know they should fight for their own country it's none of our business those people in that country should after as much money jeez as much money and weaponry and everything that we gave them and trained them for them to just straight up turn around and just give everything up taliban's going door to door taking their guns saying you don't need them no more which is how do you fight how do you how do you fight that you don't you can't they can't that's that's where we come into play um we as in the military as a whole thinking back years and years ago i was on the second or the third to the last convoy that that pulled out of iraq um in 2011 when obama ordered all troops to be out of iraq by a certain date you could just see the fear on the uh on the locals like faces and uh you know the younger kids and you can just see it in them like and they're not they're not wanting us to leave no matter what the media may portray and you know uh, they they didn't want us to leave uh the good ones over there didn't want us to leave now i'm speaking on iraq and the reason i'm saying it like that is the uh i, I saw the same thing the same attitude those the they're running down the runway chasing a c-17 that's fixing to take off they have to have apaches clear the runway just so the c-17s can take off like they don't want us to they need us they like if there was ever anybody that needed anything like it's them that needed us because clearly you know i i guess what makes me feel some kind of way about it is that they don't want to fight for themselves but then again they're not I don't, so I'm so torn about that. I just don't, I don't, I don't understand myself. Like why I think the way that I think. I don't. I just don't get it. I, I know I can't be the only one that thinks that way. Do I feel like we should go over there and help them? Yeah, absolutely. Um, but it just kind of there's a piece of me, a tiny piece of me, that upsets me that these people just won't fight for themselves. Uh, they just completely gave up. Uh, and and I know that they had the weapons. I know they had the training. I know they had the funding. And, and I mean, we, we gave it to them. We gave them all of it. And I just, I don't, you know, I don't want you, another veteran watching this, to feel like everything we did over there um, was for nothing. Because it wasn't for nothing. It was, don't ever feel like your service uh, was for nothing. If any, you know, if it, for whatever it means, Service member to service member, I appreciate you serving. I appreciate the shit out of it. Uh, because you did something uh, that one less than 1% of the population is willing to do. Uh, and that's sign up and, and you, I mean, you know what you sign up for to an extent. Now, do we know all the, you know, you hear it all the time. You know what you signed up for. Eh, yeah, you knew there was a chance you were going to go to war. You knew there was a chance you were going to, you know. I don't want to feel like I wasted a year of my life 
over there, you know, fighting for nothing. But to an extent, it almost makes me feel like that. Um, God, man, it's, ugh. I don't, you know, that, but those people, again, they're not, they're just not going to fight. They're not going to, they're not, they're just not going to fight for their own country, which is, you know, they need us. They really do. They need us. And, uh, all of the, all of my boys that I've talked to are, they're ready. They're ready. Everybody, I've seen comments from people that have never served on, uh, almost every social media platform you could think of. And, and they're, you know, don't send the troops and the troops, you know, they're terrified to go. No, I promise you they're not. They're, the boys are ready to go do goon stuff to people that deserve to have goon stuff done to them because the Taliban are just scum of the earth type, just bad. They're just so, they're bad people. They're, I don't know, uh, it's just, another thing that's kind of crazy to me is uh, you've seen the pictures on the internet. It's crazy for me to think that we have a lot of the like super high Taliban leaders, quote unquote leaders. We've got them all in one spot. I've, I was a 13 Fox. I just, I dropping bombs was what I did. And like, I have plenty of friends that would love to just drop some JDAMs on that building. The president has uh, dipped out of Afghanistan from what I read, unless that's incorrect. And I'm not trying to spread false information. I'm not, not doing that. But uh, I read multiple sources say uh, through, you know, Google and uh Yuhu or not Yuhu, not freaking chocolate milk, Yahoo, whatever. It's whatever. My mind's crazy right now. Um God, it's crazy, man. Such a confusing like ordeal for me. And I know if it's that way for me, it's gotta be that way for other veterans. And and if you find yourself feeling like some kind of way, you're not don't you're you're not alone. You're not alone. There's there's other people out there that feel like you feel um, and you know, maybe you're on the side of the fence that, um, and I don't mean that in a political way, like left, right, Republican, Democrat, I don't mean it like that. I'm just saying, maybe you strictly feel like, uh, we shouldn't fight that. Or maybe you're on the side of where you strictly feel like we should, we 1000% should. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of somewhere in the middle of like, damn, I wish they'd be able to fight for their own country because that's what we as Americans do for ours and the Australians and the Canadians and Singapore, uh, New Zealand, UK, all these other army, Germany, they all, all these other countries fight for themselves and they're just not, they're just not the same kind of people. They're just not, and that's not me like degrading them by any means. It's just, they, they don't, they don't have it in them to, to fight for themselves. Uh, they would rather just roll over and let it happen and I don't know and that's I don't know that's what makes me frustrated because that's like I wasted a whole year over there um lost friends to it um lost friends when they got back because they couldn't handle all the stuff that they saw and that they had to do it's just uh, it's such a crazy situation another thing that really pisses me off about it is uh Rob's 100% right something else is going to come up in the next two or three weeks and it's all this is going to get put on the back burner and it's going to be like it never happened everybody's just going to forget about it and uh that really that really upsets me that really gets me um it really tears me up that they're just you know it's going to be like nothing ever happened here in a couple weeks mark my words watch something else is going to come up and everybody's going to forget about afghanistan do i feel like we should go over there and help them yeah i do uh and all all the boys do too everybody that i've talked to uh, personally, like personal phone calls and text messages that I've made to guys that are still in, um, like, you know, soldiers of mine from a few years back and or leaders as well in that aspect, leaders as well that I had that are still in, uh, they, they all, they're ready. They're ready. And they want to, they want to go eat because they, they want to be there to help the Afghani people. So don't feel like you're alone. If you need to talk to somebody, talk to somebody. Like I said, call one of your boys from back in the day and check on them. They're the number that I've got linked down on the screen right now. 
if it gets to that point, call that number. It's not, don't do anything irrational. Don't do anything crazy. Uh, your service is greatly appreciated and uh, will never, ever, ever go unnoticed. I saw a guy make a quote, and again, I'm not getting political in this video. That's not, that's not what this is about. That, not even. Uh, it was a sergeant, an E5 sergeant. I don't know what unit he was in. I just saw the comment randomly and looked on his profile and I said, you know, whatever. But he said, this is another war won by soldiers and lost by politicians. And yeah, I mean, that's, people just have no backbone these days. Like there's, there's no like, oh God, bro. I could, I could literally just go on and on and on. I'm not going to do that to you guys. I'm not going to take that, that time away from you guys. Uh, if you know a veteran, if you're not one, if you know one, just just uh, reach out and just check on check on your homies. What's up, bro? What's up, sis? How you doing? Just checking in. Make sure you are. Right. You never know what that could do for somebody. You really never know. Having somebody to talk to is uh, it means a lot. I had a. Uh, <clears throat> I had to make a phone call the other night and uh, uh if you're watching you know who you are but I had to talk to somebody so not in anything crazy it's just I needed to I needed to talk I just needed to talk I needed to get some stuff off my chest you know and uh and it it helped it greatly helped having somebody there that'll listen to you uh so just call and check on your boys Anyways, I love you guys, and um, we'll be back with the uh, the regularly scheduled fishing videos tomorrow. So, we'll see you guys then. <laughs>